Welcome Scorpio to your weekly love reading for September 10th to the 16th of 2018. So a two spread reading for this week. All right, uh, let's see what's going on with Scorpio. Okay. So the mutual energy between both career. Uh, new opportunities that might be coming through. Some of you might even be around an earth sign, a uh, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. You might be dealing with the child as well, school, your fitness, and also just uh, focusing on different ways to get what you want uh, materially. All right. Now, both of you might be doing this, either working together or you're separated and doing different things. Now, what the person might be com doing that's coming towards you. Now, some of you might be dealing with a, say, for instance, if you have moved on from a, a past person um, and you're getting to know someone new, there could be reaching for pleasure seeking uh, rather than doing something for the long term. So I feel like a lot of you are trying to focus on stability first. Um, and moving yourself away from something that could lead to temptation. So your partner or ex-partner, someone that you could have been dealing with, is potentially trying to get close or they have um, issues with temptation or trying to reach for something that's not quite available for them just yet. So they may not be wanting to take uh, a, a, a trip down memory, but they may want to, or they may not want to take a risk just yet, either because of certain things that might be private to you. They might not want to get close in that way or they might not want to get close because they aren't sure about this new start and where it might lead with you and them. All right, so your response, some issues financially. So maybe spending a lot. Um, sometimes these are things where you have to put out money to get something back, where you're putting out money to get something that you want, but it may not be necessarily something that you need. So just be careful right now, just like this connection, it might not be something that you need emotionally as these are not showing up. So you have two financial cards so far, so that might be where the energy might need to be focused on. All right. So your advice, another pinnacle card showing up. So it tells you that if you're waiting around for something to change for how you address somebody and for them to change, and if you can't make those changes or you can't shift that person's attitude, step away all right uh just lay things down move forward and just kind of let go and allow things to come into your life as they need to i feel like it's um, almost like closing the door so a new new one can open or making space for more money and more uh, more wealth to come into your life in some way and that can have you better off emotionally so again as you it seems like as you step away um, you move away into a better opportunity. So some of you may be dealing with a Libra. Libra just had this kind of scenario as well where they step away from something that they can't change or what someone has done or how they might be treating them and they have a good time. So parties, activities, social events, um, reunions, it could be there. So I feel like that's a, it's a blessing in disguise when you separate from things that you can't change or the fact that um, even someone they might be reaching for you you might even just walk around them and say no i'm not ready you know to be touched on filled on or just to be approached right now and even if you feel like you can't really take a chance with me that's fine do your own thing and uh see what comes of it later so clarify one card clarify the fool in reverse for the person coming towards you yes they are either again heartbroken by the, the fact that you're moving on or heartbroken because they aren't really happy with themselves because of something they have going on personally or another person that might be holding them back um so that's what i get a sense of with spread one we're going to look into spread two so we're going to look into another one for you scorpio for september 10th to the 16th of 2018 i think it's going to rain outside this weekend wow. it's really cloudy outside so for scorpio i love the rain it's my favorite weather favorite weather Scorpio. So we have mutual, yes, some sadness there. So grief, uh, disappointment, where you might even be beating yourself up about um, the ways that you can't really reach your goals, that you can't really get things that you want. You don't have the resources that you desire. Remember, this is, was in a position of career, and when that could be blocking you emotionally it could be blocking you as well so i feel like something is going on between both of you where you're just uh, disappointed in some way uh, either crying over spilled milk um 
hurt either healing from literally physical wounds or emotional wounds as well so what might they be bringing towards you that particular person is they again they seems like they want to get close but they really can't because someone else is there and they often they would like to be around you but some of you are still holding on to something from your past as well and they might be um yes they feel good they anticipate it but they're the un uniting or reuniting is not in the in the works right now that's what it seems like for some um what is your response career again money is coming out um either a capricorn virgo taurus that you're thinking about or around or you're dealing with a whole bunch of different things um uh, financially where you may have more than one job or more uh, sources of income or just something that's primary but it brings you satisfaction so that's there your advice love is there for some so this is new or renewal um it seems like it might be new for some of you out there and new can mean it can go up to five years but it doesn't mean that you automatically you were in a connected relationship or committed relationship with that person it means that you've been going through a process of letting go getting to know someone you may have fallen in love with somebody that you have known or that's kind of is maybe an awkward kind of scenario but i feel like for a lot of you um this is for you to be happy be creative to allow yourself to be emotionally expressive when you can be um you don't have to pour everything out but it tells you that there's an opportunity to enjoy yourself to enjoy friendships to become friends with someone that you may have um disconnected from or had a lot of uh, arguments or disputes with so that might be an issue all right so keep that advice and maybe pregnancy as well that some of you might be dealing with which could be very happy for you and we do have the outcome of the devil so when that's showing up we'll look into that because it could mean many different things but that's sometimes an energy of restriction um obsessiveness when we're trying to figure out what to do or what not to do what to say what not to say and uh let's see clarify the uh, devil for scorpio oh i'm sorry you're confused for some of you out there um others of you where you might not be really stating how you feel you may be holding it back and the other person is as well so it causes you to, to still be in a state of um confusion clarify the devil for scorpio so yes that so relate this to what you go through right because it could be either person where again financially you, you try and you try and you're never able to get things off the ground because you might not be motivated you don't feel like you have the manifesting power um for some of you you might be dealing with someone who comes across or they might even call you this they might say you're the devil um that kind of energy it's an energy to me um and sometimes because we have these physical bodies you can come through as that kind of energy where you manipulate you get angry you get frustrated or the other person is constantly doing these things and it causes you to be very confused because you're not sure of what their motiv motivating factor might be so they might even have inner demons or a lot of psychological issues or playing mind games and things like that where if they do have these things going on they say certain things that could be very intense and they really don't mean it because they can't control it but you can control if you accept it or not you can control how you respond to it and you can try to gain control over those issues if you have anything like that and might need to gain some kind of help where the um, card of the king of pentacles is someone who's a financial advisor or someone who could solicit advice and help you out with what you might be uh, dealing with so keep that in mind for some of you out there and often some of you might be um, spiritually you might be moving into something that could be new for you that could help you either heal somebody or help them with these kind of issues um, if that relates to a certain matter that you could be kind of exposed to so just keep that in mind all right so um messages for scorpio for september the 10th to the 16th so separation it says time apart from your partner is on the horizon i believe either virgo or libra had it as well a divorce just a temporary disconnect but Things are still growing between you and someone, I feel, as with Scorpio. We have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So, definitely, the uh, beating yourself up about things that you may have done, what the other person has done, how many times they've done it, repeatedly doing the same things over and over again, and you're trying to figure out whether or not is that love. You know, asking yourself these questions and holding on to these things. So... 
you know try to relate that to what you might be experiencing tons of love lots of light too tons of healing vibes as well i wish you the best and you can go to the website psychicloveheals.com to schedule something for you have a good one